So Jeff likes to turn off the mic. So whoops. So all I said was, is I hope you've all had an amazing and awesome, fantastic day. And I think that's all I said. There's a lag on this for some reason. It's just a couple seconds. Is everything clear on y'all's end? Can you hear us? Can you see us? Is it all regular? Um, I thought I didn't, I didn't know you were going to be here, so I can just pop this out. I thought you might want to relax from your busy day at Makerspace. Nope, that would reset it. So, no, I'm just saying, just go to, um, I'm just going to do the thing. So you guys, I want to show you guys today some stuff. some stuff about cells. During the class, I had a lot of questions about cells and how to use different white paints to get certain kind of cells, how not to use certain paints to get nothing. And I, I really want you guys to know everything that I know and since that was a common question in the class. I want to make sure to go over it uh, with you guys. And so that's what we're going to do right here, right now, right now, right here. Cool? Cool. Right then. First things first, um, we got a message from Fred Davis, and he wanted me to know that his mama loves art, and this is a long thing. I don't know if it's supposed to be like public. Okay. I'm going to give you a summary of... What up, Nene? I'm going to give you guys a summation of the story we got from some fam. So it says, when I was three years old, I found my mother's oil paint tubes and took them to my bedroom, took off the caps and lined them up and stepped on them. I, there wasn't sound effects, but I thought I'd add. Years later, around 15 years old, I finally noticed two pictures hanging in our dining room where were signed my mom's name. Boys, go lay down. I had never seen her paint before and asked if she really painted them. She told me she had. I asked her why I never saw her paint. She reminded me about stepping on her oil paints. The anger it caused my father, the cost to, repa to replace the carpet and therefore the paints, and the fact that she was busy with two kids to raise uh, were her reasons for not painting anymore. Fast forward 20 years. I was finally stable enough to buy my mother something decent for her birthday. I bought her a bunch of things, but as a joke, I bought her some oil paints. A few days later, I showed up at her house, and she had a whole studio set up, churning out these swirly abstract pictures like there's no tomorrow. I love them. I asked her where she got the idea of such a thing, and she introduced me to your videos, ATD. She has subbed to your YouTube channel, and she um, visits your Amazon a lot. Uh, I know this is incredibly short notice, but her birthday is September 26th. I was hoping you could give her a shout out. Either way, thank you so much for inspiring my mother. She'd been pretty sullen after my father's passing, though she always puts on a happy face. I never saw her truly happy until the day that I saw her studio and all the paintings she had done. Her name is Cheryl Davis, and she lives in Annapolis, Maryland. How sweet Hi, is that? Girl, happy birthday. So I would like to wish Mama Davis a very happy, happy birthday. Fun fact, it is also my mother's birthday. So cheers and tink to all the birthday children out there. That sippy sippy was for all of y'all.
I love hearing from Sam and when people were like surprised about the artistic abilities of family members. It's always fun. Also, we're on Yelp now, so um, if you want to give us a shout out on Yelp, that would be super awesome, fantastic, because we have zero reviews so far. And Yelp is calling me every Thursday at 8 a.m. to see if there's anything that they can do for me to increase my visibility and traffic. Thank you, Van. Thank you, everybody. And it's Diane's daughter's birthday. What? Everybody's having all the birthdays. That's so fun. My mom is currently in the middle of the ocean. She and my sister Jessica are sprinkling my dad's ashes across the keys. Wish I could be there, but we've got classes and stuff, y'all. Anyways, hey Laura Taylor, safe driving, ma'am. Did we put these on the website? No. Did you get the other ones? No, I'm getting that tomorrow. Okay. The hats will be on the website tomorrow. All right, you guys. So, um, in Florida, we got all of the questions and. I always ask in the classes, what is it that you hope to learn in this class? And then that's what I teach people. I don't, I don't really set out with it like any specific. I'm going to get this all over the, everything. I know it. Um, I never really set out with a real definite like class schedule or um, like item list of what's going to happen because I want to know what people want to learn because there's no sense in me teaching stuff that you guys either already know or don't feel like learning. So this class was much like the rest of them in that um, they wanted to learn swiping and how to control negative space. So we did that, but on the second day, I had a lot of questions on cells, different whites to use to get different kinds of cells, and how not to use certain whites to avoid wasting resin. Um, did not go to Oregon yet. That is on the 6th we fly out. And then we're home for like a day and a half, and then we hit the road for Midwest classes. No, we did not take the boys with us to um, Bradenton. Let's see if I can talk them into letting me take them on the Midwest classes tour. We'll see. You have trouble with lacing and cells. Carrie, that is not uncommon. A lot of people have different ideas of how to do the different cells and it's different when you like practice every day. And so this may look easier than it actually is, but I'll do my best to make it as relatable as possible. Don says the boys can stay with me. I just got to clear it with their dad. Um, okay. So I went ahead and I took some of our brown masonite coasters, sprayed some spray gesso on them and made them regular white. I'm going to use these as like my base for my cell study. Bees in there playing with Bowie it makes my heart happy. Okay, so something that's very important for you guys to know is that different viscosity in resin will give you different cells. The different heat that you add will give you different cells. And the different paint that you use will give you different cells. 
Um, resin's not very temperamental. It just takes a little bit to study the different kinds of things you can do with resin. Lucky for y'all, I resin every day. So I feel like I have done as much resonating as any human could. Heidi, um, we're still gonna have like a meet and greet and possibly a demo. So you can absolutely um, just come to that if you want to as well. I'll be putting up the um, information for that soon. Okay, I mixed this resin shortly before coming onto the feed and I'm letting it sit in the pot because as you guys know, the more resin is in a container and the tighter uh, quarters that it has, the more heat that's gonna get into it, it's gonna start setting up more quickly than if it was just out in the open because endothermic science, it's getting warm, therefore it's gonna get thicker. So we're gonna let that just marinate over there. Bowie, be sweet. I will be back to Australia, I am 100% sure. Just working on getting all of that blind up still. So, um, I mixed this resin up second so it's fresher. I find that I get better cells the thicker the resin or the lower the viscosity. And so that means a lot of times less heat used like with a torch or a heat gun. So if I use this right now versus this older resin towards the end of this video, I'll have different cells even doing the process the exact same way. That's just science. So I always put down some clear resin first. That is because I want my colored resin to move freely across the surface of my coasters. Doesn't have to be a lot, just has to be some. Um, resin's going to level out at about an eighth inch. So that level is just fine with me. I am using um, Art Coat by Stone Coat Countertops. You can get it on our website or from Stone Coat's website. I will be reviewing KS Resin this week. I also have a shipment of Just Resin's resin. Just came in, so I'll have that uploaded probably tomorrow-ish. And so I'll be doing a review of that resin as well for you guys. I know I love puppy cam. Judy was nice enough to send me videos and pictures of the boys while we were out of town. Tomorrow they're playing with their other sitter, Tressa. She's bringing her pups over to play because the pet park across the street just opened back up. So super pumped about that. They're going to hear you, sour cream. Looking forward to the Jets Resin Review comparison of regular versus diamond coat. I will do it for you guys. I also, they sent me some little vials of their UV setting resin. It's like one part and it doesn't cure until like UV hits it or you put it in like direct sunlight. Super pumped and interested to see how that works out. So, Carrie asked, does Stone Coat's resin base work better for cells than just regular epoxy resin? Um, so I find that 
I use a lot of art coat from stone coat countertops because I like the working time. I like the UV resistance and I like the durability of it really in terms of cell structure, you just need to find a resin that's not too liquidy. So low viscosity resin. And Art Coat is a great viscosity for cells. Um, Art Resin's a good one. Mastercast is a good one. I'm sure there are others but I'm just not thinking of them right now. Okay, let's mix some colors. I'm gonna use one of my new colors today as well because I can. I'm pretty sure it's new. I don't remember having used it before. And Um, I may have y'all I get confused with colors and what's been used and what hasn't bear with me be lenient I don't waste any resin so I'm always down to get every last drop out of here There we go. All right. First color I'm mixing up is dark turquoise by just resin. I didn't even know they had this. So Diane asks, what is the heat rating on art coat from stone coat? You can heat it up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit or 260 Celsius, which is twice boiling water. I'll have to check those out, Holly. So this color is similar to Color Obsessions, but it's slightly more like green. It has like an emeraldy undertone. I'm mixing up. This is the new color I haven't used that I'm. I think I haven't used. Um, it is Blue Topaz from Color Obsession. Monica, it shouldn't be too much longer before Stone Coat starts shipping to Canada again. The, the issue was um, the United States Postal Service decided that resin is now like a risky thing to ship, so it's been put on like the dangerous things to ship list and you can get fined a lot of money if you ship it that way so even I have started shipping my resin in the states via FedEx so don't be surprised if you get FedEx confirmations from me instead of USPS beautiful bright blue color it's like bright, but not abrasive. Super excited to see what it looks like in resin. Um, I also wanted to try another color. Please all. show y'all it's already sold out so we're just gonna have to do some more bondi blue because it's one of my favorite blues anyways if you get tints from me 
have needle nose pliers handy to get this little stopper out. This is what saves lives in shipping. I bought stone coat epoxy. What is different to art coat? Um, Janine, the difference is mainly that, how gorgeous is that color? I'm sorry, I'm concentrating. It's a little bit more teal than what it is in the video. Um, The countertop has more functional durability, but the art coat has um, more UV resistance. They're the same in terms of working time. I heard when using stone coating, it take three weeks to fully cure for coasters. Uh, I don't know about that. I haven't had an issue with it taking three weeks and I always check my pieces before shipping. So I'll have to confirm with that. Any resin takes four weeks to fully 100% cure. So I'm using the older resin to make some titanium white. Actually, I need to go ahead and write on these so I know which is which because I'm for sure going to get confused. I'm going to write JR on this one. I'm going to do a spray paint white. So I'm going to put SP. And I'm going to do a stone coat white. So that's SC. There we go. Never heard the final on stone coats craft epoxy. Did you? You do a video, I haven't heard feedback. So, um, the craft coat is ultimately just like Promarine or like an Envirotex. It's, it's good for what it is. What? It's it's a beginner's resin. It's like resin on a budget. You know what I mean? I probably, if you use it, just keep in mind that um, it doesn't have the durability or the UV rating that regular art coat has. So if you get it, I would use it this way. I would do my art layer with the craft coat and then do a flood coat with the art coat. That way it's like a sunblock for your artwork. I want crab legs. That makes sense, Linda, to use the countertop because it's thicker and then art coat when I use lighter colors. Can you do a piece and craft coat and do a flood and art coat? Absolutely. Question is stone coat art coat food safe? It is quick contact FDA approved, which means food can touch it for a very limited amount of time without being like deadly. And deadly is a very loose term. I don't know what happens if you in just something that's been sitting on resin for too long, but it's, there is no resin out there that I know of that I've used for sure that I've used. There's not one out there that I know of that is 100% food safe, can put cheese on it, leave it overnight and eat it the next day, to my knowledge. I don't know, B. I'm just trying to answer some questions. 
All right, so let's start arting. So I'm going to put this dark turquoise from just resin on here without it getting in my wine. Let me just move that. Thank you for saying that, Linda. I meant to say that as well. Pigments are usually not food safe, especially if they are like special for resin paints. Resin doesn't like water-based paints as much, so it really degrades your resin. And so if you use colors in your resin, make sure you do a really good flood coat to ensure the best chances of food safety. Just a little tip, just a tip. All right, now let's put some of this blue topaz down. Blue doop, blue doop, blue doop. I love, love tints. I love being able to see all the colors through them, being able to see what's like if I do a like an art layer on my piece before applying any resin, like I just spattered some of these with the white. So much love. Okay, so titanium white by Just Resin. It's very similar to Snow White from um, Color Obsession. Very similar to Angel White from La Res. Very similar to... Um, take it back it's not that similar to cast and craft keep in mind sorry that's way blown out puppy cam is null and void for now when you want to keep your resin thicker you want to use a thicker color additive if for example if you ever have used tints or an ink or a spray paint in your resin you will notice that your resin is thinner that is because you're mixing something thinner into your resin. That's just regular science. Check. Next one is stone coat. This one got damaged in the way back. So there's like white everywhere. On the edge. I'm going to need one more sturdy thing. All right, you guys, with the stone coat base tints, keep in mind minimal, minimal, minimal amount of this stuff to make it work. You can always build the color. You cannot take it out. So less is more people. And I will demo what happens if you use too much of it. What I like to do is put just enough um, base coat in my resin to give me cells, which is not a lot, and then put some any white epoxy paste on top of it and mix it in. That way I have the opacity that I'm looking for, opacity, opacity, opaqueness that I'm looking for uh, without risking my cells to bloom and disappear. So I'm going to do that. You'll be able to tell the difference in cells between um, the stone coat titanium mixture and the regular titanium mixture. Hi, Vanessa. 
All right, so we have a nice opaque white for that. And the spray paint. Okay, so I'm going to use Montana 94 in the shade Blanco White. It's matte white. Gloss white also works with this technique. Just keep in mind that um, you don't want to base your projects out. There's that marble. You don't want to base your projects out in a gloss because you'll be more at risk for pitting because the resin won't have anything to hold on to. So make sure you mix your paint really well. I'm sorry I'm doing this on camera. I didn't think about it before. I'll try to hurry. You want all the goodies in there to be all mixed up. Spray paint, like many things, will separate like peanut butter. Be in a well-ventilated area when you do this. Not around any open flames. Wear a respirator if you're sensitive. Do not spray into a plastic or styrofoam cup because the spray paint will eat it. Just spray paint down the side of the cup and it'll collect in the bottom. So, I wish I could turn down how hot the white light is. Hopefully you can see what's in here. I hope. So I'm putting like five drops in here. Easy moves, go lay down. And the acrylic doesn't work as well. as like the enamel based spray paints. So avoid the enamel based ones if you can. While I say that, I don't even know if this is an acrylic based one or not. I can't find it on here and that is way too many words for me to read over. So I'm just gonna assume and I'll know for sure once I start arting. Dead gum. I had this one over there the whole time. Okay. Well, if this spray paint one doesn't work, I'm going to use this. I need to fix my hair color before we go on our trip, Holly. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. So, I guess the first thing I should say is that of the colors, of the whites that I'm using, the stone coat base tint, the spray paint, and the just resin, the whites need to be on top for you to get your cells or lacing. Stone coat's base tint needs to be under the other colors. So, you can put them all down at the same time, but you need to manipulate them over each other depending on what kind of paint it is to get the cells that you're looking for. Stone Coat's base coat gives you quite large cell structure, so it's more like webbing rather than lacing, right? I'm not sure, Cassie, what I'm going to do to my hair before the trip, but my blue's fading. So, for reference, I'm going to just do this is stone coat and I'm going to manipulate it over the color so you guys can see what happens if you use it improperly. But I had to go get some swipes because I'm not prepared. Swipes, check. Right then. 
So I have clear, two tints, and the dark turquoise from Just Resin. Oh, we're going to do this again. Now I'm just, okay. Why? Okay, I think that is seen its last day. Really? There we go. A little kickstart, good to go. I am not heating this to thin the resin at all. I'm just popping the bubbles so I can manipulate everything. So, as you can see, it's already getting feathered on this edge right here, so it's already starting to do stuff. Let me see if I can change the brightness so it's not quite so blown out and you guys can really see what I'm doing here. I know it's a little bit darker but Hopefully, you guys can see better now. See, there's these little bubbles, and on the edge, it's getting hazy. So, if I were to swipe over the colors, where's my stone coat? It's already starting to interact with this color, so it may not be a good solid test. So if I swipe over the other colors and put some heat to it, it's doing a little bit because I poured it in the middle of that teal, but it's not doing a lot. So that is the incorrect way to use Stone Coat's base tint. If you put it as the top color, you're not going to get much out of it. Now, I'm going to take this dark turquoise and put it over the Stone Coat. Now we'll see some actual effects. from this, the, um, what am I thinking? From the base coat. Now, you can already see some cells popping up right here. Once we hit it with heat, though, they'll really start to come up and they'll continue to grow as the resin relaxes and moves across the surface of this piece. So I'm just going to leave this here for study's sake. Right then, the spray paint and the just resin both need to be on top of the other colors in order to work so i'm going to show you first the spray paint and since i'm going to be needing it on top of the other colors i'm going to be pushing it that way so i have it on this side now you can swipe with it but this is one of those paints that really works better Um, with some heat added to it. Sorry, I'm not answering questions, y'all. I want to make sure I get this demo proper. Just 
So there's something already happening already. But if we add heat to it and thin it out just a little bit, more should start to happen. Unless I used an acrylic base spray paint in which not a whole lot's gonna happen. Cause it's like mixing an acrylic paint into resin. Now let's check on our stone coat cells. They're really starting to prosper and come up. And I'm going to move this natural. Now the last paint that I have to demo for you guys is the Just Resin White. And since it also needs to be on the top, I'm putting it on the outside of my color so I can manipulate it down through. Cool? Cool. My favorite way to use just a paste is with a torch and tilt method. So you want to hit the white just on the inside edge next to your color and tilt it at like a 45 degree angle-ish. I'm going to hit it with some heat just so there's no bubbles real quick or else you're going to end up in a situation where um, you torch your resin and scorch it and it's just not going to be a good look for anybody. Okay. You can always tell when you're going to scorch your resin because um, it'll turn yellow and it'll smoke more than otherwise. So those are more like ocean wavy type cells. I'm going to change how um, this camera is focusing so you guys can see that better. So revisit. These are the stone coat cells. Hopefully it'll focus. Anybody? Anyone? Bueller? And then these are my um, just resin cells. Why in the world is it being so tiny? I will also do a video, true color video. And these are my spray paint cells. Uh, not much amazing happening there. So what I'm going to do is I have some other resins sitting around. I'm going to shake up my Rustilium. Nancy, I only have one tattoo. Fun fact. All right, just like with the other one, I'm going to shake it, make sure it comes out proper. Spray it down the edge of my cup. There we go. I'm going to add it to my resin. Oh, yeah. It's already looking more like I needed it to. So let's see if I can get it to do what I wanted it to do. And this one. looking more promising than the last one. So 
Just let that set and we'll see what we got. Maybe I can torch until this one. Maybe it'll do something else. Awesome. We'll check back on those in a minute. So I hope you guys have gotten the difference in base tints, spray paints, and epoxy. Uh, pigments. This one I'm doing right now is the stone coat base tint. And I added two lines to hopefully show you guys some dual cells. You know when the cells have like double rings of color? I happen to love how that looks. Let's see if I can get some of those for you guys. That being said, um, so I'm heating just in front of my resin that I want to move. I don't know that you guys are going to be able to see these dual rings since it's all the same color. I have a little bit of this left. Let's make some, what do I have over here? Hot pink. Let's do hot pink so you guys can see double E cells. Thank you, Rod. So this is the hot pink fluorescent glow from just resin. It's slightly translucent and I love that because that means it'll make an awesome purple when paired with teals or blues. So you can probably only barely see those like double circles in there because it's all similar colors, so why would you? Let's check in on our... Spray paint cells aren't doing very much. I'm gonna have to really finagle these to do something awesome. All right, let's add the pink to this guy. Super glowy. Stone coat. I'm going to put it just on the inside of the teal and just on the inside of the pink or on the outside. Now, trick with this is you want to sandwich color, base tint, color, base tint. Just a little bit of heat. If you add too much heat to your stone coat colors, they'll just, um, it'll thin out your resin and your cells will melt away because it can't keep its structure. Minimal, minimal is key. So I'm moving pretty slow because I want to pick up color and deposit it as I go. Hope I didn't just like swipe it all off the piece. We'll see. We'll investigate it together.
I'm going to heat this resin in this corner because I want to tilt this resin off and give these guys room to stretch. Oh my goodness, you guys. See how there's like color and then a ring of white and color. Right here and right here. Put some right here. And they will continue to grow and do that until the resin is completely settled. No! I'm going to tilt that mistake off. Just cover it in white resin. Now it's a choice. Holly, that might be the prettiest one for sure. So here's our wispy spray paint cells. Very oceanic, super soft. We also have these spray paint cells. This is the Just Resin Titanium White. Also have the Dark Turquoise selling up all on its own. The base coat. Uh, more base tint. Hi, Patricia. No worries. Thanks, Rusty. Thank you, Sour Cream. Do you have a playlist of all your cell videos? I don't, but I can make one for you guys. I do. I find I do a lot of cell videos, so it would be nothing but a chicken wing for me to do another one. So I'm taking the ones that I really love and I'm putting them in the dust free zone before I mess them up or anything else drips on them. And then I'm going to rework the ones that I'm so, so about. which would be these two. So I'm going to add more of this. I'm going to add more of this dark turquoise. And I'm going to use the stone coat white. Since it has to be a base tint, which means under the other colors, I'm going to push it this way. Just a little bit of heat. Get a swiping paper. This one will do. Take my time so that the resin can be picked up and redeposited. Does Jeff do custom cutting at the laser shop? I need some sailboats, mermaids. Oh, and a palm cut out. See, I didn't, I didn't see palm at first. Um, we can absolutely do that. Shoot me an email. I need to get more juice for my this. Sorry, y'all. Got to fill up my torch. 
I think that one's going to look better. I'm going to put some Bling It Blue into this blue topaz. I did this the other day and I could not believe how gorgeousness it turned out. Doesn't take much. These blingets can get added to any tint to make it like a metallic or a sparkly. It looks like sailboat paint. Night vamp. So I'm going to put this down as my base. Oh my goodness. This looks like boat paint. B, are you awake? Because this color's got your name on it. Mirror. A new color I just invented. Looks like this. Yeah, I just invented it. And they can't even see it perfectly. Oh, there you go. You can see it in ethyl. See how I can lay this color, this coaster sideways and the resin doesn't drip off because of the viscosity. How fun is that color? Beautiful. I just want you now. I want to show them this. Look at that. FOB got me for my birthday. Finally came in. It is a king baby, as is the small one that, um, I also got, got in you. Vegas. You you also got that for me. Yeah. Oh, you allowed me to get it. Semantics. <laughs> After we bought Bowie. You get something amazing, and I get something amazing. That's how science happens. That's a made up color. Yeah, I just made it. It's um, blue topaz and bling it blue together in one. I wanted to get a lot of things out of it, like ASAP. All right, so I like where this is going, but it's too thin because I've put so much heat on it. See how that just stretches back down? So I'm going to let this cool for just a little bit so that I can control what moves and what doesn't. This is going to flow because I use so much heat. It's what heat does. It's why cells happen because it thins the top layer. So I want to let it cool so I can do this area without losing this area. I'm just going to let it live for a minute. How are things be? What are you about to do? Hmm. I see. So I want to show you guys that um, you don't have to use a white to get cells. You can use any color. It comes down to viscosity. So I just put that dark turquoise right here. Tara, I agree. So I'm going to torch and tilt. You see those cells popping up? going to let that tilt all the way off the edge so that I can let that resin grab. And I'm going to do it 
back in the other direction. So it's filling up in different areas. Now I'm also going to let that cool off so that I can manipulate it without my cells moving. I'm sorry, baby cakes. I hope your day gets better. Um, I did not prime these, Patricia. All I did was bring them over here and put resin on them. The white ones I did base paint in um, spray gesso. But these ones that are out here now are just regular. See, okay, now this resin is starting to be like cold syrup consistency. And the best consistency for the best top cells for like froth and wave is going to be a soft peak if you've ever, if you've ever, um, baked like in done meringues, then you know what a soft peak is. If not, hit that Google and it will tell you all about it. So I'm putting some clear down. And I'm going to use some just resin and some of this sparkly blue. And some of that super awesome hot pink. Now I have all these colors intertwined with each other but I'm going to manipulate them so that the white stays on top. So I'm going to have the white on top going this way and then the white on top coming back this way. Um, Angela, it may have gotten filtered out. I will absolutely help you with doing classes. Okay, now that that has been tilted off, I'm going to let it cool for a minute before doing this negative area. This one has already stopped moving. Remember when I did it a second ago, this area right here really stretched. So I'm going to heat right here I want all that white to break that dome edge There we go. And this one is probably already set up as well. With no white, still got really nice cells. Your Google heard me say Google and popped up. That's funny. Their Google heard me say to Google it and it was like, you talking about me? So I'm going to add some white just because, just a little bit, just see how it feels, just in a couple of areas. can really see that letting that resin sit for a while and cool and get thicker really allowed for bigger cells right there. 
Um, Amanda said she had sent it, Karen. This one was the Just Resin Titanium. Currently in stock in our store. Okay. I like this one, so I'm going to take it into the dust-free zone. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. You can blow it and get some awesome effects, too. That sounded really bad, but you know what I mean. So let's put some clear down. It's looking like when hot glue kind of bubbles out of the glue gun. So that's a pretty good consistency. Ms. Andrews, we are super pumped about that class as well. We still have a couple seats left for the Colorado class and the Chandler slash Phoenix, Arizona class. So um, if you don't have a seat yet, get with it. There we go. Peel, throw in some of this sparkly blue as well. And the, you can also use different resins in the same piece. For example, I'm going to put a little bit of the stone coat white and also some of the just resin white. It's getting real crazy up in here. Now for this, I'm thinning it out just a little bit because it has thickened up and I'm going to do this. Try not to die while doing it. Let some of that tilt off and pause. Keep just in front of where I want my resin to stretch to. Nope, not going to do that yet because I want um, to save this area. So I'm going to let this rest and then I'm going to manipulate this side. So I'm going to do a puddle on this one because I can. So I did the stone coat first because it's got to be on the bottom. Dark turquoise. Let's put some just resin in there. Um, I'll add some of that sparkly blue. I'm just combining the two blue tints. Feel better soon, 755. sparkly blue, and some of the super hot awesome pink. I'm going to maybe just a dab more of the Just Resin White. All right. already a whole bunch of excitement there I'm gonna heat that and let it fall off of this side so 
same there. Same there. Not too much because I don't want to ruin the areas that I do like. Let that rest. Come back to this one that is not moving any longer. It's the great thing about this particular resin is that you can work certain areas and not really have to think about other areas. It's one of my favorite things about it. And I'm sure that's not just exclusive to Stone Coats resin. Y'all, even that tint is selling up over the that white from um, just resin. The key to good frothy cells is torch. Thin your resin and make sure you have thick viscosity. Let's check on this guy. A lot going on. I'm going to just tilt this side off. There's a whole lot going on. So let's add more just resin. There, looks better already. guys getting extra but I think I might leave a lot of it alone I'm just tilting off the areas that I'm less than thrilled with cast and craft white is a great white to use 100% I'm just going to finish up these guys and then class will be dismissed for the day. Nope. Yeah, we'll do some stone coat on this one. So I'm going to hit just the pink areas and maybe in front of the Stone coat. I don't want to heat the stone coat because then my cells won't stay. Maybe that'll look interesting. So this one's very busy but very fun, so I'm going to put it up. As well as this guy. Now, I know this video is a lot to take in, but does anyone have any questions about anything that I've done? Diane, if you're running out of working time, things can get super, super hectic for sure. Now, this is the spray paint white. I'm just going to use it as a base because I'm running out of clear and I don't know what it'll do as just a base, so we're going to get wild and crazy and testy. That sounds horrible.
Hi, Fairy G. Um, so, have you been um, watching this whole video or did you just come in? I did not prep the coasters before the resin. Um, the color of the pink is hot pink, the fluorescent by just resin. Turned out fun. I don't want these guys to go all the way over the edge. I like that guy. Thank you for saying that, Kathy. Can you use alcohol on resin? You can. Golden does have awesome product, Cara. Patricia, I'm always here if you have any questions. You can always reach out to me. That one's fun. I don't think I can improve on it, so I'm going to put it away. Um, I'm going to do another spray paint base one because I'm running out of resin. It's a tough world, y'all. My pleasure, Patricia. Look at this silver on these rocks. Oh yeah, Linda. This is just the regular Masonite coasters. Look at that. You can use rubbing alcohol. Looks like a mirror. Is that? Are Look you at filming? This silver. No, I'm just well, drawing on rocks. I got some rocks today. <laughs> They're just like. I got them on Amazon. They're super, super smooth. And I'm using those Pintar oil base and then that Molotol silver. Chrome. Chrome, yeah. How oh, fun. This is the first time I ever drawn on a rock. I don't know what you would do with them. You could put some resin over it. See what that looks like. I'm out of clear, love. Love? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> you can put some color on there. To arm wrestle. We Whoa, still use the heat gun for sure. Um, and I will show you some heat gun. That's true, Joe. Those are boys are down there. Mm -hmm. Just Just no, um, yes, I do. There's some wine right here. Wipes, alcohol, something about everything sticky. Mm. Mm. And you're not right next to my laptop. I didn't get anything on your laptop. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah, we will. What about putting some um, clear, not clear, but like transparent, how do you transparent? Over that silver? No, I put the bling it in it so it's not really clear anymore. Well, it's just blingy. I forgot to add the heat to this. 
I was wondering what was missing. What did it say about my rock? Um, they actually love painted rocks and skulls and want to know when you're doing a video. Yeah. It's just doodling on them. That's what you doodle to rocks. Uh, mm -hmm. No? That's fun. That like soft fade. I know y'all are based at VFW. Do y'all have classes here? Are you in Dallas? Yes, ma'am, we do do classes here. All of the time. There are Facebook groups of people who paint on rocks and hide them. Maybe it could be your new hobby. Hmm. Cute hobby. Bowie, he doesn't want to play with you right now, man. <laughs> I think that's why he's been all like ornery all day. He's like, play with me. And Kujo's like, are you, are you new? Don't play. Homie, don't play that. Yeah, we don't have time for hobbies, unfortunately. I think probably what will happen to those rocks is I will have him do a video for content. And then, um, probably put him in mystery boxes for Yun's. We're going to have some uh, new mystery box bunny skulls. FYI. Why? Why? Yada yada. Mm. Look. Back. Mm. Thank you for coming in, Candace. I leave for New York tomorrow. I'm glad that that project got finished, Karen. Just send me a message whenever you get back, I suppose. We would be good at skipping rocks. I guess. Ooh, that's what you could do. That would be fun. You can draw on it, put a wish on it, put a saying, and then just skip it into a lake somewhere. So maybe somebody go rock hunting or diving for something. Hey, Laurie. Who would that be? Rock hunting? Yeah. I didn't even know that was a thing. Now I know. That is not very attractive. Put some just resin on there. Improved it a little. Not much. Okay. Um, we're going to have classes around the world, so to speak. So just because we're not in your area right now. Doesn't mean we won't plan a class for your area yeah. in the coming um, months and also even months. The wet pens. Thank 
kit is up to no good as per usual. All right, you guys. I gotta take the boys out. Um, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys learned something. Um, otherwise, I hope you were just regular entertained. I need you guys to know how hype the little ones get. Uh, so yeah, let me find the We'll Check Y'all Later page. Can you see him? Just, well, you can't see him now. Absolutely looking forward to seeing you as well, Sheila. I know it. I know, I know, I know. Come here. Oh. So, you guys. Thank you for turning in and seeing what we are up to today. Stop fighting our brother. Enough those. Um, I had a great time. I hope you did too. Hope you learned something. And if you have any suggestions or requests on products you want me to review or on um, techniques you want me to check out for you, just comment or send me an email. Love to do it for you guys. Enough those. Uh, so yeah, we love you guys so so much. Could not do this without you guys. Um, happy birthday to Miss Davis. Enough, those. I know it. I know it. I know it. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Be kind to one another. You never know what someone may be going through. Um, what's today? So tomorrow will be 8 p.m. Just like tonight. So till next time. Bye. I said bye. Yes. Bowie, be sweet. <laughs>